Oh, hello there. I'm just looking for some flowers for my daughter, Anya. She just finished her school term, and I want to surprise her with something special. Do you have any suggestions? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you worked here. <sighs> that was terribly rude of me. I'm so sorry. Oh, really? Y you have a suggestion anyways? Thank you. I really do think she'll like pink roses. They remind me of her sweet and delicate nature. <laughs> you know, I've always found flowers to be fascinating. They're so beautiful, and yet they can also be used as a secret language. It's almost like they're little spies in the plant world. My husband Lloyd would probably find that interesting. He's really into that sort of thing. <laughs> So, what brings you to the flower shop today? Are you shopping for someone special, too? Oh, that's really sweet of you. It's nice to see people who still appreciate the beauty and sentiment of giving flowers. I'm sorry. Th this might sound a little bit odd, but are you asking me out on a date? Um, uh, oh, um, uh, <clears throat> well, I'm f flattered, but I'm married. Lloyd and I have been together for a while now, and we have our daughter Anya, so I really shouldn't be going on dates. Oh, you meant, like, a friendly outing? Like, spending time together to get to know one another? I must have misunderstood. I apologize for that. I guess I'm still a bit rusty when it comes to social interactions. <laughs> well, in that case, I suppose there's no harm in spending some time together. Just as friends, of course. But, um, where would you like to go? A walk in the park? That sounds lovely! I don't get many opportunities to relax and enjoy nature, so that would be a nice change of pace. And I'm sure Anya and Lloyd wouldn't mind if I took a little time for myself. How about we meet up this Saturday afternoon? That should give me enough time to take care of my family's needs and also prepare myself for our outing. <laughs> Great. I'll see you then. And thank you for understanding. I really appreciate your kindness and patience. Oh, I, I almost forgot! I should probably exchange contact information with you. That way, we can stay in touch and coordinate our plans. There we go. Now we're all set. I look forward to our time together. Wait, I just realized I haven't asked your name. I'm sorry. I can be quite forgetful at times. So, what is your name? It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Yor, Yor Forger. I hope we can become good friends. Hmm, I think I'll go with this bouquet. The combination of pink roses and white lilies is perfect for Anya. She'll love it. Yours are beautiful too. I'm sure the person you're giving them to will be very happy. So, I'll see you on Saturday at the park, around 2 p.m. Does that work for you? Great. I'll see you there. And again, thank you for being so understanding. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to pick up a card to go with the flowers. Anya loves reading little notes from us. It'll just be a moment. There. All set now. It's a cute card with a kitten on it. Anya adores animals, so it's perfect. <laughs> you know, it's been a while since I spent time with anyone new. I hope I won't bore you with my stories about my family. I can get a bit carried away sometimes. Anyway, I should get going. I need to finish up some chores before I pick Anya up from school. Thank you for being so kind and patient with me. I'm looking forward to our walk in the park. Oh, and if you have any preferences for snacks or drinks, feel free to let me know. I'd be happy to prepare us things to enjoy. Sounds good. I'll keep that in mind. 
See you on Saturday. <laughs>
Who knows? Maybe next time I'll surprise you with some new baking skills. <laughs> Bye!